Move nugget. Okay, everybody. Sorry about that. So, I have not made the video yet that I one was supposed to make. Anyhow, you guys are going to think it's really cool. So, obviously, my favorite company for outdoor lighting, Vaunt, sent me some new products. Because that's what they do. Because they're awesome. They have sent me the new... Um, <laughs> I say new. This is the old one. <laughs> I have so many of them. This is their headlamp. It takes three AAA batteries. Uh, actually, I think these batteries are about dead. That was not the one I meant to grab. This is the new one. And the new one, while looking the same, and still pretty bright, uh, has three adjustable settings, flashy mode. Anyhow, what's different is this one is rechargeable. So you take the back off, and it's got a uh, lithium battery in there, and you just plug it into a Type-C charger. Same kind that my phone uses, because I use Android, not iPhone, because, mm, yeah, I like phones that last. <laughs> Anyhow, there are new headlamps, completely rechargeable, last for several hours, and like I said, they, one, two, three, very bright, flashy mode, pretty awesome. So, I love my headlamps. They also sent me their new lantern, new and improved. This one has a handle on the side, which I like. Also comes with a flashlight. Um, awesome, forgot about that. <laughs> it has blinky red light and an SOS signal on the blinky red. Uh, this one's kind of been abused a little. I've got the top popping off. You'll understand that if you've watched my other videos where I review these. Also, way brighter than the original. These things are very bright. I think 400 lumens, maybe higher. Um, I have yet to test how durable they are, but I like that. I like the design a lot better. It feels more solid. Comes with magnetic base and hangers on the bottom to hang it up if you need. It's pretty awesome. Uh, Neodymium magnets, so I would guess pretty strong. Haven't gotten a chance to test those. Actually, yeah, pretty. <laughs> Holy crap. Ow. Glad I didn't set that on top of my computer like I was going to. Because, yeah, that thing's very solid. Very. Very solid. Way more solid than I was actually expecting. So we're gonna put that through a torture test. And the reason I love them so much is because I found it. This is the original lantern from the first test video when they sent them to me. It still has, I believe, yeah, it still has the original, yeah, original batteries that came with it. A little rusty, a little rusty. If you remember in the original video, I, uh, I drowned this thing for minutes, sometimes longer, <laughs> several minutes, underwater, like not a little damp, like 12 feet plus, just threw it in the water on a fishing line and let it sink and sit there. I have been using the same one repeatedly. It has been bouncing around in my truck, the back of my car. It has been beaten and battered. The top has been broken off. I'm not saying you can't break it. Uh, I've literally super glued it back together because, uh, well, I threw it against rocks. I mean, I literally just abused it way past anything any normal person would do. Like I said, broken off. Uh, the handles are gone at this point. I literally had to glue it back together where I cracked this in half, uh, drained water out of it multiple times, still original batteries. Oh, it worked the other day. I guess it probably popped open in the back of the car. Well, now I'm going <laughs> That was exciting, wasn't it? Let's see. Oh, oh, ah! They do still work! <laughs> I just had a loose connection from the batteries being rusty. There we go. Rusty batteries. <laughs> this thing has been bouncing around for two years. After I've drowned it, beaten it, battered it, thrown it in lakes, creeks, rivers, and just busted the hell out of it. And it works. With the original batteries, which 
I don't know how long they're supposed to last, but it doesn't eat up a lot of juice. I would have no doubt this thing would last all night hanging up. All night. Still shuts off, turns back on. And the beauty of it, why it works so great and is so tough and reliable, is its simplicity. Because I've had it taken apart. You know, when I broke it in half and stuff. Um, it's just such a simple switch in there. It's no fanciness. None of that. It's just simple. And, yeah, I mean, two-year-old batteries, it's not super bright right now. But they're pretty bright when they're new. Actually had, I threw it so hard I busted one of the LED strips. They're in there. On the inside, they're a little strip. And I actually busted one out of its place, took it apart, popped it back in place, and have not had an issue since. And again, this thing's been completely full of water. Completely. For extended periods of time. And it just keeps working. I don't think I've ever had a better cheap lantern. And they're pretty cheap. There's packed Four packs, like 20 bucks. Um, there will be a link in the description below. But the lanterns, the headlamps, their flashlight, which actually I bought the flashlight myself before they ever contacted me. I bought one of their flashlights on Amazon. And I think it's in my backpack. I'm not sure. Yeah, awesome backpack, too. Uh, <laughs> you'll see, I have more Vaunt headlamps. Uh, this is their first version of their... Oop, I took batteries out of it. That was their first version of the headlamp. This is an older one that takes the regular batteries. And I believe this is the other... This is the first one I meant to grab, which I've been carrying around my backpack with the rechargeable battery. And it's yep, still good. I've been using them. I've been testing them out. I have the... I guess I don't have the flashlight with me. The camera's in there. Maybe I don't have the flashlight with me. I may have left it in the car, actually. I think I put it in my um, glove box. Oh, nope. Yep, that's not it. <laughs> thought that was it. Is it in here? In case you're wondering, I keep a lot of junk in here. Kind of a ridiculous amount. Yeah, I think I left it in the car. Yeah, I did. So I didn't. I don't have the flashlight. With me. Which again, I bought that flashlight with my own money. It was not sent to me. It was not a gift. Is this thing still working? Oh, good. <laughs> Sorry, I can't see if it's recording or not. But they also sent me this. Check it out. I got LED strip lights. I'm not going to leave them here. I haven't found a good place to put them. Uh, they come with the 3M sticky tape on the back, so you can put it anywhere. They also come with uh, little hangers. Did I? I think I dropped them in the car. But they come with little hook hangers, and um, you can hang them up or put them around your baseboards or whatever. But they change colors. <laughs> And I mean, a pretty good amount of colors. Red, green, multiple shades too. And they do that. <laughs> they have different uh, flashy settings. Or yeah, maybe not, I thought they did. Maybe, I thought there was a rainbow feature like where it would switch. Maybe not. You can just, I guess you do have to change it manually. Oh well, my bad. I thought it switched. Uh, yeah, you put the flashy feature and the glow feature. And uh, oops, all manner of different settings. And it's pretty long. I don't remember exactly how long. I have it uh, rolled out over here. And it comes on a spool. Uh, I want to say it's probably 20 feet, 15, 20 feet. Uh, doesn't say. You can also cut it to length. There are sections where you can cut it. And if you're smarter than me, I believe you can splice onto the end of it. Let's see. I've never rolled it all the way out. But if you cut it, let me turn this off because it's blinding. 
Now, there are sections where you can cut it and it has the uh, numbers marked on it. Oh, I did find out though, if you touch the different metal bits with your fingers while it's plugged in, it'll light up some lights. Oh, yeah, you guys aren't looking directly at me. It barely lights them, but yeah. You can activate and see which one does what. Like I said, yeah. Okay, so yeah, it says, you can't probably see, but it has a little picture of scissors right there, so you can snip it. And like I said, I think you can splice more onto the end of them. I'm not swearing to that. Yeah, you, you can. Um, at the end, it's got the connectors. They're marked for blue, red, and green, and 12 volt. And you can somehow splice them together. I am not an electrician or a person that does that kind of stuff, but I'm guessing even I could figure that out because it looks pretty self-explanatory. And I think I'm rather clever. <laughs> but I love it. Um, I'm actually probably not going to end up using these in the house. I have a better use for them. I have a power inverter that I'm going to plug them into in my car. When I go camping, I take a deep cell battery and a power inverter. I use these to light, light up my camping area or my fishing area, whatever I'm doing at the time. And I'm just going to roll them back up because that's the easiest way to store it, I think. If the dog doesn't need it. Oh, this is Nugget. He's kind of a turd. But yeah, if you guys are looking for... Don't nope, chew on that. If you guys are looking for good lights, dude, I'm telling you, Vaunt is the way to go. I have not torture tested the new lantern yet. But that is coming. And I informed them that I was going to do this. They know. You send me a light. I'm going to see if it can hold up to, um, well, not just life. I'll put it through a normal test of, like, rain and this and that. I'm going to destroy it, though. I'm, I'm absolutely going to attempt to destroy it. I tried that one. I mean, come on. What lantern do you have? You can just throw it in a river and be like, yeah, it's probably fine. I've got a few. I really, now I don't anticipate these can hold up to that. Not because they're not built well or anything like that. But, let me see if I can just pull the top off. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to pull the top off of it like this. I'm probably going to break it. <clears throat> um, yeah, no. No, I think I pulled screws out of it. Anyhow, it's got, um, like most LEDs with the flashy function. Yeah, I think I broke it. Um, don't think I was supposed to do that. <clears throat> I think you actually pop this black ring off and you can unscrew it. By the looks of it, I don't know. But because LEDs with the multiple flashy settings and stuff take a little circuit board, I don't know that it'll hold up as well. It's definitely not waterproof. It, it will get water into it. But I want to know, if I throw this thing in the river, will it live? And that's coming up. I promise it is, because I want to know. No doubt I can break it. I mean, the plastic, I can definitely break. This is way more solid than the originals. But I do like the design better. Like I said, it's, and that, the bottom doesn't unscrew. Or maybe it did. I don't remember. How did they do that last time? I thought it just slid off like a locking feature, but I might be wrong because I'm stupid and I forget to look into how to do things. <laughs> Anyhow, the bomb comes off with the batteries are in there. And then you can pick stuff up with it. <laughs> so, you guys want good stuff that will work, check out Vaunt, their headlamps, their lanterns, I mean, all their stuff. Two years, two years, original batteries, and you can kind of tell by the looks of it. And I believe my original video is still up where I threw this thing in the water. I'll link it below. I threw it in the water. I beat it. I did all this crazy stuff to it. I was fat in that video. Looked like hell. I was going through a rough time in my life. But yeah, this is the lantern from that video. And I, I will link that in the description below because I definitely still have it up. So I'm going to put all this stuff up before Sarah gets home and yells at me for making a big mess because that's what I do. She has never yelled at me, by the way. Never had an argument. It's been great. <laughs>
So yeah, if you guys are looking for cool stuff for your house, they got cool strip lights with the sticky stuff already built in. It comes with hangers and all kinds of stuff. It plug they're wall charger too. They're not battery powered, um, so they do plug into the wall. There's a sticky tape on the back of the uh, control, so you can just stick it to the wall or whatever. And it's pretty good stuff. I love it. It's awesome. Once I find a place for it permanently, I'll put it up. Might go in my kids' room actually. All right, guys. That's all I got for today. Remember, links in the description below. Don't forget to check them out. Also, merch in the description below. We'll see you soon. Have a good one.